hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to talk about package based monorepo using nx so in the last video we were using nx cli to create a simple package based monorepo and we did simple poc now in this video let's forget about nx for now we are not talking about nx first we will talk about um, uh, workspaces we will have a simple workspaces created either through pnpm npm or yarn here we are using pnpm workspace and then we will just build a simple project we'll have a pnpm workspace create a simple react app and some utility library and utility library will be imported in the react app inside a workspace and then we will add this nx for the automations and to make it a little faster that is the role of nx here so we are using pnpm workspace and nx to automate things and make i mean increase the the speed of automations and all the build script we are executing all those things we are going to do with the help of nx so first we are going to play with pnpm and then we will add nx on top of that so here we are going to create a simple pnpm workspace so what i will do is i will create a directory pnpm poc and we will just do simple pnpm in it that will create a simple package json it's like same as N npm package manager there is a pnpm there is a yarn and i will just say so we have this created i will just open this in the vs code also quickly so we are starting with this now what i will do is i mean these workspaces are app centric or the packages centric we will create both folders apps and packages packages all the helper packages utils some reusable components i will put in the packages and the applications like react angular applications we can put inside the applications so now the important part is we are going to use this pnpm workspace so we will create this file pnpm workspace yml that will contain this packages definition like what all you are putting inside the packages i'm putting packages and the apps so whatever is coming inside apps and packages will become part of this workspace now what we will do is inside apps let's create a react app so to create react app uh, we'll just use create react app so react app oh, let's call it a simple react app and this is using npx and most probably this will add npm package log json here we are using pnpm adding something through the npm we will see if it works otherwise we will just remove the package log json generated here and we will just do a pnpm install i mean there is a pnpx also there which will create a i mean which which is same as this npx so here is our create react app has been added now what we will do is we will create so it has these different tasks let's say the package json what i will do is i will remove this package log json not modules and i will try to do something let's say pnpm i i'm doing a pnpm install on top on the root project so and then i will try to execute these simple commands which are there in the scripts start build and test how we can execute these scripts through the pnpm because we are inside a pnpm workspace so we can just do pnpm filter let's get this done okay so here this is how we can do it pnpm this is a filter and here is the package name and you will pass the command this is simple right now what we will do is pnpm uh, dash test filter package name is what is the package name react app 
and command is let's say the build so it is using react script and doing the build right so this is how you can execute these build commands i mean these package level commands from the root folder now we will create a simple helper library helper i mean some common ui library that we are going to create inside packages so i will just create a common ui inside common ui we are going to have we are going to add the dependencies so first of all i will just go to packages cd common ui and i will just do pnpm in it to have simple package json and then i will start adding the dependencies so how can you do it in a particular uh, in a particular package so you will just do pnpm add filter command and here my package name is common ui and i wanted to install react and the next dependency i am going to install is the typescript so our objective is we will just add this add this common ui library and we will add just a one component which we are going to use in our react app so we have simple setup common ui let's say we also have another thing is a utilities common common utilities something like that here i have package.json so we can have lib which will have a component and inside components i'm creating button.tsx and inside lib i do have index.ts which is going to import whatever you are going to define inside this component so inside button just create a simple component export function button this is like a, a simple typescript component which is process of type any and this will return some jsx so this is just a button tag and it will accept props dot children and we also need to import react so that this jsx is starts working import react from react library so on the button properties we can have on click on the on click what will happen is you can define a props dot handle click okay a simple a button component which we want to do export through this so let's see if i can have a package json here with all the things which i need so here i will just put it inside a dist because we are going to build this we are going to create a config ts config for this we already have a typescript and the react components already there so i need to get the ts config so instead of writing i already have a helper text available to me i will just use this ts config i will create a ts config json here it is using this and then i will update this script inside my package json so this is my script and main and here we can just do the build how we can do this is simply command we can execute filter here i'm just going to execute common ui build command so you can see it is using typescript which we already have under react and you can see inside dist index.js we have the component now this component we wanted to use in our other project and you can see this is name and this is the private because we are not going to publish it this is internal and this is the scope name this is the private and this is the main file and these are the scripts okay now what we can do is we will just try to add this 
we have already created a build i mean we have executed the build now we will try to add it as a dependency on the react app so pnpm add common ui we wanted to add to react app So unknown option workspace so what it will do is it will if you see the dependencies of this react app node modules this is application node modules and here common ui and here you can see the sim link has been generated so all the dependencies has been sim linked here you can see this is the lib has been added here so the common ui can be used now in this react app so what do we have in this react app let's see source app.tsx here i can try to import this button component from common ui and i think the, the component name is button let's find what is the component name inside index.ts component export function button and inside the header instead of this i can just add a button component and i can just say is click here and there is a handle click also right because in this button component if you look at the typescript definitions there is a on click handler handle click so when you click on to the button this is going to call our parent component so handle click we need to define this is like a props we can just define a typescript interface having all those things where did i import that index dot here uh, this is the handle click and this is a simple function so i'll just define const handle click simply clicked or something like that so this is the react app we have now if i just try to build the the react app you just do a simple react app what it will do is it is already using this dependency of the common ui right we can also run the command what is another command start start will run the server and here we can see this button click here so what we, what did we do is we created a simple library now this library can be anything it's just a simple demo like how you can link the dependencies and if you look at the package json of uh, this react app here we have added the dependency of uh, this common ui so what this mean is it is this is a local package here you can just simply put a star also instead of defining this you can just put a star also but what it is saying is this dependency needs to be resolved locally through this npm pnpm yarn workspace because this is the local package okay so this is how we are doing it so this is just a simple demo of react and the simple library now after this we want to automate couple of things here we are using this pnpm command to link the dependencies to do the build you can see this is how we are just creating the build of uh, the common ui react app if i just wanted to build the common ui i will just use the simple command common ui and we'll do the build how can we automate all those things if i wanted to execute all these things together then there is a command you need to look into documentation minus r build this will i guess build all the build in all the packages 
now what we need to do is we need to speed up these things through the nx so what nx will do is we already have a pnpm workspace comes with the basic functionality like running the task on the monorepo package adding the dependencies running a script and these are like all the the commands which you need to be aware if you are working with the pnpm so what nx is doing on top of that i wanted to run the build command with the cache i wanted to run the build command only on those packages which has been changed from the base branch and i wanted to just see the dependency visually i wanted to use this nx console features and all so without delaying we will start adding this pnpm add nx and we are adding this for the workspace so this is how the nx will be added and then once the nx is added you will see nx json will be created so nx as a dependency has been created now you can just execute these commands npx nx build in common ui because nx has been added now you can execute these commands successfully created this and you can execute i can just use this nx console if this is enabled i mean this will be enabled once you have i think nx json added so i will just do is nx dot json and let's see nx mono repo we need to take some help on how this nx json looks like so we will just copy this thing and we will just then explore what it is so what we are doing here is the target options target runner options and default runner is we don't need to runner is task runners so instead of nx cloud because we are not using nx cloud here these are nx task runners default and the options which we are cacheable options all these commands like we have only build test these are the commands we have so if i now i have enabled nx so i don't know why this is not opening up but that's fine here now we are caching the build command so if i just do the build task runners default it's task runners So this is build is working because now I have added a caching so it will be just within seconds. So these are the cacheable options build, lint and test which I have added. So we can enable the cache also to these particular cacheable operations like in which particular ca operations you wanted to enable the caching. Okay so I mean we just added an NX JSON that is manually and then this is the package.json we have added an x as a dependency what we will do is we will see what other things we can do with the help of nx so simply we can do simple npx nx build react app So this will build and you can see it is building the one dependent project task succeeded because it is reading from the cache. It already knows that this react app is dependent on another project which we have in the library. Similarly, we can do the build for common UI. And it is the uh, cacheable options. So it is caching all those things and if there is no change then it will pick the same thing from there i was checking this nx console because it can automate our lot of tasks select nx workspace okay 
now it is coming up so here nx commands nx affected so let's say you you wanted to see you wanted to run only build only on the affected packages and the libraries because there may be a multiple libraries and multiple packages and when you want to run this you don't want to run it for each and everything so you can execute this we can also see the dependency common graph and this react app is dependent on the common ui this is npx nx graph that is just a simple command and uh, we can also define the dependencies this is the important part which we have defined in the nx json is this depends build so whenever you build like i'm building the react app so it will build first the target dependencies because the react app depends on the common ui so it will build that first so react app you can see it is building the dependent project task succeeded it is fetching it from the cache and here we are passing underscore build right so these particular whenever you are hitting the build then this is actually building the target dependency first so similarly if there is any other command you can just define that command and what it depends on you can specify that in this nx json okay so nx affected so you wanted to just build the command for only for the affected projects so for that i think we need to have the base branch added in our dependencies so here let's say affected and here default base uh, sorry default base so this is like you need to specify the the branch which is main and you need to initialize it with the git so we have develop branch let's say default base is develop then i can execute that command for the affected branch you can just do the build and all affected graph also like which particular package in the library has been affected it will so based on that only we can just execute the build only on the affected dependencies that just a simple demo so this is how all these things really works i think we don't have a git ignore created that's it so this is our dependencies okay so this is just a simple demo how we were having simple pnpm workspace and we have added nx on top of it we are just using the minimum features of nx not plugins or anything just a simple nx json and then a simple we just added nx as a dependency and then we are just automating these the simple normal build task and the scripts we have and you can utilize this nx console to run things locally